Welcome to the Hemiway Long Range Challenge. After two days of riding, our champions are quite experienced. Today is the last day and they will start from Morro Bay riding through Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, and arrive at the terminal stop. This is surely a long range and we'll see what performances they bring to us. At the beginning of the day, they start from the beach. Here they are. We're on the beach and uh... The sand is kind of deep and a little bit wet, so it's uh, more challenging to, to ride, but uh, still uh, pretty, that's pretty okay. You can deflate the tires a little bit and get more traction, but once you pick up speed uh, and keep the, the wheel straight, uh, it does okay. -ish. As you guys saw in the previous footage, uh, it's pretty fun to ride here. The way for the sun to come out and do some more testing, but so far everything is good. So on this trip, out of all of the different terrains that we got to test out, I think the sand was definitely the favorite. So all of these bikes are fat tire bikes. It's perfect for tracking in the sand and you can really have a good time on the beach. The closer you get to the water, the easier it is to ride. I got a little too comfortable a couple times and ended up getting the bike wet, but no issues whatsoever. Everything's weather sealed and yeah, this was definitely my favorite part, just riding on the beach out here in California. It really encapsulates what this trip was about, just all these California vibes and yeah, these bikes did great. So I've been riding the Zebra and it's been bar none one of my favorite bikes to ride on the beach. Uh, the fat tires have been exceptional. Um, it is unreal that you can keep this type of traction, not only just on soft sand, but as well as like really, really thick wet sand. We filmed a lot on our videos and we'll probably put some clips here in this one, but it's just above and beyond other bikes that I've ridden in this realm. And uh, I think at the end of the day, like this isn't necessarily a beach cruiser style bike. Like, you probably shouldn't ride it always on the sand, but knowing that it can get you through those thick elements is always a plus. The distance between Morro Bay and our terminal stop is over 150 miles. Finishing this in one single day is definitely a big challenge to any bike rider, so our champions have to speed up. Tanner reached an amazing 40 miles per hour and just broke the Hemiway e-bike speed record. Let's witness together. Holy crap, the dolly were flying! 40 miles an hour! <laughs> Yo, you wanna see some real speed? Gotta show you some real speed. Well guys, today was absolutely amazing. All the way down Highway 1, the views were incredible. The ocean, the waves, everything was just right out of a movie. The experience was awesome. The bikes performed amazing. Um, it was a very comfortable ride. The ergonomics are dialed, the grips, everything. I was very comfortable the whole trip. Um, the views from the bridges were incredible. And yeah, just everything about today was perfect. Riding with the guys, we all had a fantastic time. Really got to show the long range capabilities and I really do feel like a long range expert. So we're headed back home tomorrow. This pretty much wraps up the whole experience. And I've got to say, thank you to Hemiway for putting this on. It was an absolutely awesome event with these guys. Couldn't have picked a better group of creators. We are all come from pretty diverse backgrounds. So it made for some really interesting content. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the guys put together in their videos. So the bikes all did absolutely amazing. I think they really do provide some of the best value per dollar. So definitely highly recommend and I'm looking forward to riding my Hemiway when I get home.
So today we started out early. We covered a lot of distance, a lot of elevation, uh, some pretty steep hills. Uh, ended up almost dying in some scenarios. I ended up getting a huge gust of wind pushing me almost off the road and off the mountain, which was pretty scary. Um, but overall, my experience of this entire trip has been awesome. Meeting these other two creators and experiencing it through, you know, like other people's eyes too and like kind of what they see or what they value as like beauty on a trip is, is pretty interesting. Pointing out different like pros and cons to the bikes and seeing what other people's perspectives were with that was definitely a big highlight of mine because I never really thought of other people's perspectives of what they see or what they don't like of a bike. Um, as far as the range, I feel like I got a lot of good range out of it, but I really put the bike to the test uh, throughout every single ride that we did. I like to be able to try to see what type of riding elements I can push to its limits because when we went to the one trail, we're going through the woods and everything. It wasn't necessarily made for that, but it's always, but it's always good to know that a bike like this can perform in those scenarios. Yeah, so I think this trip overall has been a great experience. Pulling one specific memory out, it's kind of hard, and I don't want to say it would be specifically behind the handlebars. I just feel like the scenery itself, like this entire ride has been, been a really pleasant experience. Looking on different scenery that I don't get a chance to really see out east. It's not as, not as blue, I guess you would say. Like the oceans are a lot richer. The, the, you got a lot more scenery to look at, less buildings. So this is the last stop, uh, I think we're done with the journey and looking back on Friday night when we started, I was a little bit skeptical, the assembly, the charging, the batteries, all the parts, I was like 210 miles, this is not going to make it. <laughs> Usually in the city in New York, if you guys watch my videos, uh, 25 to 30 miles, that's the most you can get with all the braking, hard acceleration, I always test in the fastest speed setting and I try to push the, the limits uh, here. I'm actually surprised, uh, I went down the hill. 42 plus miles and uh, it was insane and then going back up uh, it was like a gust of wind so I was hitting 27 miles an hour it felt weightless the bike was just like not even assisting I was just like flying uh, uphill it was amazing the view <clears throat> all the elements is just like I recommend anyone that bikes just try this route and thank you Himiway whoever chose uh, San Francisco to LA uh, I think this is uh, the best experience that I have so far. I'll probably never forget this. Uh, the nature, the beach, uh, the mountains, uh, the cliffs, the drops, uh, is just like fantastic. And uh, I wrecked uh, over 100 miles on the bike and uh, I just feel like I wanna do more. Uh, today is the last day we stop here, but I feel like I wanna do 50, 60, 70 more miles and just enjoy this and take it all in. It was amazing. And uh, the bikes are one piece, uh, everything works, uh, nothing uh, broke. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool so far. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I need to mention is that uh, we hit some very long, very steep hills and a regular bike will not do it. And uh, having the Cobra, uh, the extra power, that extra battery will really make a difference and really allow you to push through and extend the range. And uh, I think the last leg I, I pumped like 30 plus miles and I'm still, you know, able to go more. So. Uh, Having a bigger battery, having the system that Himiway uh, offers in the bikes uh, makes a big difference and allows you to go off-road, go uh, on regular roads and really enjoy and take it all in and uh, have fun. And uh, thank you again Himiway for organizing this. I really 
had some uh, bad vibes and like really expecting uh, you know like something different and it turned out to be amazing and uh, I feel like I'll be next summer back here again uh, doing this uh, route again. Three days and four nights, 400 miles of riding, unpredictable weather and nothing stopped our champions. They got over all of the difficulties and completed the challenge successfully, proving to themselves that they are long range experts. Furthermore, they proved that Hemiway bikes have long range, have all terrain adaptability, and are a comfortable riding experience. They have done great jobs. Hemiway, the long range expert.